The game starts out showing the first cutscene that has Victorian sounding music to it. It shows two kids running and laughing with a dog. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> we know it's gonna turn to shit though. Then lightning strikes twice in the same place. Satan and Satan's twin suddenly appears and steals a pixie. I don't know why. I'm personally guessing he was just bored that day. The kids run back to the parents and the father clearly states Satan is dangerous. But for some reason he sends the kids out anyway to rescue the pixie. What a dick! What's wrong with him? The Sat Sat Satan's twin is probably really dangerous and he's sending his kids out to go deal with it. Okay, never mind. I take back the dick comment because in the tutorial it shows the kid smashing into boulders with his head. So clearly kids in this dimension are indestructible. Good going, Dad! The kid's parents tell him to go see a guy named Tosser. Wait, what's the kid's name again? The game doesn't even say. Ugh, his dad really don't care about his son if he's sending him into danger and didn't bother giving him a name. In the gameplay you collect musical notes. They don't seem to be important for anything some reason so I don't understand why they're in the game and you blow bubbles at enemies spikes are your worst enemy if you think this game is really bad you have to give its music some credit because it sounds awesome on the level 3 on the first map Moving forward, there's a mini game in level 4 where you shoot birds. Why do we have to shoot them? They look so cute! Why again? Why? Hey look! It's Tepa from Wizard of Oz! So guy! You lost your oil and heart again, huh? Seems like it, you're a grump. Oh, no wonder the dad sent the kid out. All the enemies are weak as fuck. I bet the trees are made of cardboard. No wonder the kid could bash through it. Second cutscene and they're teaching kids about dentists. Hmm. I didn't expect a life lesson in this type of game honestly. The third cutscene, the kid saves a chef that the dentist in the previous cutscene told you to go save and he gives you a flying accordion. It flies in the cutscene for some reason. It lets you dive into water for some reason. I don't know why, but then kids can bash through walls with their heads, so... If we start questioning this game, uh, we're gonna lose our sense of reality. The fourth boss says he can't believe he was beaten by a kid with bubbles. You and me both. You and me both. From defeating him, you gain gain a trumpet. The fifth boss looks like a dog. Oh, she's so cute! Holy shit, she's got an axe! And if that's not creepy enough, she seduces the little kid with kisses. This game's weird. When... <laughs> When you beat her, she turns into a frog and screams about how she was beautiful. The kid proceeds to call her old lady, <laughs> which he isn't very happy about. She gives you an ocarina to repel curses. As the game continues, you get more upgrades, defeat bosses of sections and gain musical instruments. You keep doing this on different maps until you reach Satan's Twin. The ending is very confusing. What did we defeat exactly? Was that actually Satan or was it his daughter? Or is Satan a shapeshifter or what? You don't, I don't think you even get to fight 
Satan. It's a bit disappointing, game. So, what have we learned today? Pretty much nothing. This game gets a 7 out of 10 for me because it seems like it would be too easy to play. And finally, the last boss is a bit confusing, like, you can't tell if you're fighting Satan's twin or... Because throughout the whole fire, it's a woman with a bat body. But in the first cutscene, it shows, it shows like a demonic head with a bat body. So it was a bit confusing. I assume it's Satan's twin, but it, it was a woman <laughs> who you fought. Overall, the game seems like the type you would play to pass the time. I don't see it as something that would sell really great, but only just sell at the price they were expecting it to. Because I think at the time people would probably prefer Mario over this. If you're looking for a hardcore serious game and not a game you can just sit and chill out to pass the time, then this isn't for you. Thank you for watching. The review is by me, Mukura12, and the editor is by the Umpro Pro.